Yeah, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Racha Kodash, which means our praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. And coming back again through the spirit power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, on the brother Ana from Jimmy Smith's camp. And pretty much the lesson gonna be on this um, video that was sent in the group chat by the elder. You know, as you can see, it said, Welcome to the Murder Capital of America 2023, a documentary. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edified, I'm let the scriptures do the talking. But, yeah, I mean, it speaks for itself. I'm not going to play the video. You know, I don't want to, you know, get on strike or nothing. But, yeah, niggas, pretty much niggas, two-thirds ain't going to make it, man. No praying for the two-thirds. Just let them be. And what come to mind is what reprobates, man. These are straight-up reprobates, you know, just, man, just watching this, you know, just BS here, man. This take place in uh, New Orleans, you know. So, um, and I want to, in this part right here, let me see something, because he was like, this is hobby, you know, he find it uh, fun, he enjoy it, but he said, oh, I enjoy seeing, you know, BS, BS get laid down, deserve to be right, you know, you know I'm not, I don't want to play it, but pretty much they enjoy motive, right, they enjoy this lifestyle, man, and like this comment, it's a miracle doesn't have a homeless drug or even a gun epidemic, it has a mental health crisis, man, these niggas are bugged the fuck out, man, you know, but they got all four, America, America uh, through, period, man, so this is the definition of whipper bait, you know, from the Google dictionary, it's a, an unprincipled person, right, let's get straight to the point, it's a, a sinner who is not, what happened? <laughs> a sinner who is not of the elect and is predestinated to damnation. That's pretty much what it is. A sinner who is not of the, of the elect and is predestinated to damnation, man. So, that, that's plain, man. That, that's plain. Let's go to the dictionary. A deprived, unprincipled, or wicked person, a whippabait, a person rejected by the Most High and beyond hope of salvation. I don't know why my phone keep, you know, jumping like that. But right, these and these niggas here are beyond the hope of salvation, man, of redemption. A morally deprived, unprincipled, bad. Like these niggas are, are, are corrupted. They are evil. They sinful. They wicked. They are whippabates, right? They are rejected by your high by shot. Then it say, um, right, two, the most side to reject a person is for sin, exclude, right, you excluded for something, look that word up, to deny someone access to, man, to keep out, right, the most, <laughs> to keep out, eliminate, that's, that's plain, so, to exclude from the number of the elect or from salvation, so, that's plain, man, you don't want to be a riverbank, but we have them, right? And it's all for um, prophecy's sake, man. So, right. So, again, you know, you watch this video on your own time, you know. But, yeah, these the niggas got to go. So, this is Hosea chapter four, um, 4 and verse 1. It says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So, hear this word, you know, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. It say, for the Lord had a controversy. With the inhabitants of the land. Well, the Lord got a, a controversy with you. For all the ones that don't want to repent and come back, you know, to his understanding, man. You know, you don't want to submit yourself to you. How some old shot, man? So the Lord got a controversy with you, man. You know, he, in due time, he going to pull up on you, man. So he said, for the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the most high in the land. Then it say, by swearing and lying, right, and killing... And stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch your blood. And that's what you have here in the black community, right? The hip hop world, the black culture, man. It's BS, right? So you make vows and break them. You kill and steal and commit adultery. There's violence everywhere. One murder after another. Exactly, man. One murder after uh, another, man. 
Niggas die every day, B, right? So the Lord said he got controversy with you, man. You refuse to repent. You refuse to feel. You, you refuse to walk in his ways. And all you know is killing and destroying each other, man. Right? Let's get Proverbs 10. Because, you know, niggas say he enjoys like a hobby to him, man. So this is Proverbs 10 and 23. It is it is a sport to do. So like it is a sports to a fool to do mischief. But a man of understanding has wisdom. And OT doing wrong is fun for a fool. And committing adultery, murdering, killing, you know, stealing. Right? That is fun to a nigga, man. But living wisely bring pleasure to the season, uh, seasonable. You see? Uh, what's that? Jeremiah 6 and 30. It said, whatever based civil should man call them because the Lord had rejected them. The Lord rejected these niggas, man. No saving a two-thirds. Fuck the two-thirds. They got to come back in, uh, in the kingdom of heaven. That, they got to come back in Hebrew Huggies, man. These niggas uh, want to uh, commit um, evil, man. Is it saying Proverbs? Now, before I get that Proverbs, let's jump over to Jeremiah 7. Is it verse 8? Yep, Jeremiah 7, 8. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will you steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after the other gods whom you know not, and come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are delivered to do all these abominations. <laughs> right? Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, said the Lord. So the NLT said, well, and then come here. Let's read 9. Do you really think you can steal, murder, commit adultery, lie and burn incense to Baal and all those other new gods of yours, and then come here and stand before me in my temple and chant, we are safe, only to go right back to all those evils again? Do you really think you're going to survive, Jake? Do you really think the Lord is dealing with you? My Lord going to kill you motherfuckers, man. This is Jeremiah 11 11. It reads, <clears throat> Therefore, thus said the Lord, your will behold, I will bring evil upon her. The Lord said he going to bring evil upon your stupid ass, man. It said my people are wise to do evil, but to do um, good, they have no knowledge, man. Right? They have no knowledge to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord, man. All they know is kill and, and murder, man. But so the Lord said, what? Well, behold, I will bring evil upon them, man. Jacob Trouble is right up the street, man. You see, the most high will give you all into the hands of, of this war. Esau, eat them, man. You know, you love your guns. You trust in your guns so much. Like, hey, they're not going to save you in the time of uh, uh, destruction, man. The time of evil, man. So the Lord said, well, I will bring evil upon them, which they should not be able to escape. And though they should cry to me, I will not uh, hark on to them, man. The Lord not going to listen to all the calamities, the evils that he about to bring upon you, man. You see? And 14, therefore pray not, thou, therefore pray not, thou for this people. What's the point of praying for these niggas, man? It's no point. It's, look at this nigga. Dude. He bragging about how many times he's been shot and, you know, <laughs> come and how many times he's been shot at. No, hey, <laughs> come on, man. Niggas ain't, these niggas ain't praying for their damn selves, man. So why why should we pray for these niggas? It said, therefore pray not thou for these people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry to me. For their trouble, exactly, man. So no praying for these niggas, man. They feet one to do evil. This is Proverbs 1 <clears throat> and 10. Let's read this in the NLT. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. Why right, stay away from them, man? The scriptures say falling now a multitude to do evil, man. So stay away from them. It said they may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone. Right, let's lurk, right? Let's pull up on the ops. Let's spin the block. Let's see. Let's hide and kill someone. You see, murder. Just for fun. Right. Just going back in this clip. Fun. It's a hobby to these niggas, man. It's a game. It said, just for fun, let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive like the grave. Let's swallow them whole. Let's like like those who go down to the pit uh, 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 go down to the pit of death. You see? So think of the great things we get. 
we will fill our houses with all this with all this stuff we take. Right, let's hit this lick. Let's kick that door. This nigga be gone uh, for four hours now. You know, this perfect time to um going going to his ship and uh, steal the safe. Right, woo to woo. Home invasion. You know, come throw, come throw in your lot with us. We all should have loot. Right, we split it right down the middle, 60 40, right? 50 50, however, maybe, right? <laughs> it said, My child, don't go along with them. Stay far away from their pals, right? So stay far away from niggas, man. They was to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder, and that's all a nigga knows is murder, man. You see, for their feet want to evil and make haste to shed blood, man. That's plain, man. Proverbs 4. And you see why niggas gotta go, man. No praying for the two thirds, man. Fuck the two thirds. This is Proverbs four, um, and fourteen. NLT. Don't do as the wicked do, and don't follow the path for evil doers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Keep away and keep moving. Right? Keep moving. Fuck these niggas, man. You see? Fuck them, man. So, going right back to that Jeremiah sister 30, where Bay Silver, your man called him because the Lord had rejected him. And that's pretty much the point of, you know, this lesson just going in on that. That, man, Lord, in due time, about to, you know, destroy these niggas, man. This preacher came okay to mind real quick. Isaiah 59. I started one. Behold, the Lord's hand is not showing that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities, which are your sins, has separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Why like he not gonna listen to you? Cause you refuse to repent. Then they say, for your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue had murder perverseness, man. Like right? corruption. They say your hands are 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 the hands of murderers, man. And your fingers are filthy with sins. Your lips are full of lies and your mouth spews corruption, man. Man, so niggas got to go in two-thirds. Why they say, let's end with Amos. Of course, the prophecy, you know, two-thirds, you know, go be cut off and die. But this is Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people, the little people are you Israelites, right? Every last one of y'all going to die by the sword, man. Being East of Edom and also what? Twofold and nuclear missiles, man. Which say that evil should not overtake nor prevent us, man. So, Lord willing, this list was edifying to the let. Just going in on that, you know. So, um, right, once again, give our praises to you. How about Shem? How about Shem? How about Shem? How about Shem?